Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. In today's video, we are going to discuss about TTP223B Digital Touch Sensor. In one of our previous videos, we have discussed about TTP223 Capacitive Touch Sensor, which uses the same chip but the board looks different. It's a red colored small module. And today we are going to discuss the TTP223B touch sensor which is a blue colored module but uses the same IC TTP223. We will give the link in the i button and in the description of this capacitive touch sensor. We have made the video already. If you are interested, you can have a look at the video from the link. So let's learn about TTP223B digital touch sensor. The TTP223B is a capacitive touch sensor module that detects touch or proximity functioning similarly to a push button but without any mechanical components. It is widely used in applications where a simple touch interface is desired such as touch based switches, proximity sensors and touch panels. The TTP223B module offers an easy way to add touch detection functionality to a project without the need for complex circuitry or programming. Let's have a look at the specifications of the module. The supply power is 2 to 5 volt DC. The response time is 220 millisecond in low power mode and 60 millisecond in quick mode. Low power mode is when the device remains idle and quick mode is when the device remains active. Operating current is 1.5 microampere in low power mode and 3 microampere in quick mode. Output voltage. If the module is powered with a 5 volt, the output high voltage will be close to 5 volt. Output current. Typically around 4 milliampere. This means that the signal pin can source or sync up to 4 milliampere of current. Power on boot time. It's about 0.5 second. When we power on the device, it takes about 0.5 second to activate itself. Low power mode. The device enters low power mode approx after 12 seconds when the finger is released from the touchpad. And if the finger is touched again within the 12 second, the device remains in quick mode. Let us have a look at the pin diagram of the module. This is the front side of the module. The leftmost pin is the signal output pin. The middle pin is the 5 volt or VCC pin and the rightmost pin is the ground pin. This is the main IC of the module TTP223B. This is one key touchpad detector IC and here is one power LED which turns on when the device is powered up and this circular printed portion is the touchpad. If we touch here, the device activates and this is the back side. In the back side also, there is a touch sensor pad. This circular portion is the sensor pad. So if we touch here also, the device will activate. In today's demonstration, we will see the touchpad working with Arduino and working standalone. By default, this touch sensor is momentary. When we touch the pad, the device turns on and when we release the pad, the device turns off. There is no configurable part that we can configure to change it to toggle mode. That means touched once the device will turn on and touched once again the device will turn off. But I will show how you can achieve that. So please be with us. Throughout the entire video, we will show many different function of this module throughout the video. First, I will show you how you can use the module with an Arduino, how to achieve the toggle mode and how to achieve the active low mode. By default, this device is active high. When we touch, the output gets high and when we remove the touch, the output gets low. In the Arduino sketch, we will show three ways where we will use it as a momentary mode, as toggle mode and as active low mode. So let us have a look at the circuit diagram with the Arduino. Circuit diagram is very simple. We have connected the VCC pin with the 5 volt of the Arduino, the ground pin with the ground pin of the Arduino and the signal pin with digital pin 2 of the Arduino. Here at pin number 13, we have connected one LED in parallel with the built-in LED of the Arduino so that when the built-in LED glows, this LED also glow. Here is the prototype that we have built based on the circuit. We have shown the circuit using an Arduino Uno, but here we have used an Arduino Nano here. The functionality is same. The connection is also same. We have connected the VCC pin with the 5 volt pin of the Arduino, the ground pin with the ground pin of the Arduino and the signal pin with digital pin 2 of the Arduino. And one LED has been connected with digital pin number 13 of the Arduino via a resistance. 
so when the built in led will glow this led will also glow now let's have a look at the arduino sketch and let's upload the sketch onto the arduino this is the arduino sketch we have taken button pin for the input from the touch sensor and the led pin for the output few variables has been taken for using throughout the program now in the setup mode we have defined the led pin as output button pin as input and the led pin state initially we have set it to low so we are setting the led pin to low now in the loop we are checking the button state whether the touch sensor is giving high or low output then we have done a switch case function where in the case one we have done the momentary button function in the case two we have done the toggle button function and in the case three we have momentary active low button function and in the default case the led pin will be low so we will change the mode variable and with the single program we can check the three output types so first we have set it to mode one so it will be now work as a momentary button function we will upload the sketch into the arduino and see the demonstration there so now uploading the sketch now let's see the prototype the sketch has been uploaded now we will see the functioning of the touchpad so here is the touchpad if i touch onto it you see the led is glowing when i remove my finger the led turns off touch it the led glows i remove my finger the led turns off this is the front side of the panel so it's working and it's the back side of the panel here is also touchpad is there so if i touch here also it will work for the ease of work i'll fix it with some tape on this breadboard so that it does not move now it will remain fixed on the board so i can easily touch it and show you so we have seen the simple momentary touch function using the ttp 223b module now we will see the toggle function using the ttp 223 but it's not hardware based it is software based we have done it in the program so we are uploading that sketch and we will see the output here on the prototype now we will change the mode to 2 so it will be now working as a toggle button function let's upload the sketch the sketch is uploaded now see if i touch the sensor once the led will turn on if i touch once more the led will turn off this has now become a toggle switch we can also convert it to active low momentary switch we have done that also in our program and now we will change the mode to 3 so now it will be working as a momentary active low button let's upload the sketch uploading done now you see this is active low mode by default the output is high so the led is glowing now if i touch the sensor it will turn off and if i remove my finger it will turn on we have done it in momentary mode that's why it is momentarily turning off and on this has now become an active low device so using this ttp 223b module with the arduino sketch we have turned it into three different type of functions momentary mode toggle mode and active low mode all these modes were achieved using software code but now we will see how we can achieve this in hardware mode for that we need to change the connection a little this is the standalone circuit diagram of the ttp223 module we have connected 5 volt to the vcc pin the ground pin has been connected with the negative power supply or ground and the signal pin has been connected to the led via a 150 ohms resistance connection is this simple now we will use it as a standalone touch switch the ground side the negative side or the cathode side of the led will be connected to the ground we will only change the anode side to a different row in the breadboard and the output pin or the signal pin from the ttp223 module will be connected to the anode pin of the led so we are taking only the power from the arduino the arduino pins are not used now i am removing this wire so you can see i am not using the arduino output pins with the led we have only taken the 5 volt power to the ttp223 module and the output is connected to this led so if i touch now you can see this is active high momentary mode now we need to convert it to toggle mode so what we should do 
For that, for converting the module to a toggle switch, we need to solder the pin number 5 and 6 of the TTP223 IC. This is the IC and if we start counting the pin, this is pin number 1, this is pin number 2, this is pin number 3, pin number 4, pin number 5, pin number 6. We need to just solder these two pins, pin 5 and pin 6 and this will change into a toggle switch. So let us now solder the pins and see what happens in the output. So as per the diagram, we will now solder pin number 5 and 6 of the IC. I am bringing the camera closer so you can see it clearly. I think you can see it clearly. I am bringing it even closer. You can see that the pin number 5 and 6 are soldered now. The module has now turned into toggle mode. Let's see. If I touch once, the module will turn off. If I touch once, the module will turn on. Now I am removing the solder blob to make bring it back into the normal momentary mode. Yes. Now this has become momentary mode. Now we will see if it works only with human touch or it works with metal touch also. So I have a 5 rupee coin with me. I'll simply keep it above this. So it works with a metal touch also. I remove it, the output turns off. I keep it, the output turns on. So it works with simple metal touch also. Now we will see one more thing like does it work through non-conductive material or how thick non-conductive material can it work through. So we have a simple paper here. Let's put the paper onto this and touch. It works. Let's fold the paper in half. Then also it works. Make it a double fold. Then also it works. Three fold. Then also it works. Let's make it a four fold. Then also it works. The paper is too thick now. I cannot make it more fold now. So let's see. It even works after folding it five times. Cannot fold the paper anymore. But let me try if it can be folded. Okay. So it even works after six fold of the paper so it can work through non-conductive materials also so that was our demonstration for today with ttp 223b digital touch sensor i have tried my best to give you a clear conception about the module but still if you have any query or question please feel free to ask me in the comments and if you like today's video hit the like button and it's my request to subscribe my channel arts innovations your one subscription will give me more inspiration for bringing new videos so here I conclude today. We will meet again in a new video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care. Have a nice time. Thank you for watching.